Hey everyone, welcome back. Wow. All right. So we know Bethany Frankel has been on this reality reckoning movement, right? And we know that a lot of her former co-stars are not agreeing with what she's trying to accomplish here. Some would say it's because they're still under contract with the network and they are fully going to side with the, the network that pays their bills. And some would say it's because they actually don't agree. We're going to talk about all of that because Luann Delaseps has entered the conversation when it comes to Bethany and also Kyle Richards and her relationship. There's a lot. So before we jump in, do all of the things. Let's just get right to it. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to talk about this because right now, Bethany Frankel, she has taken a break from everything that's going on because she's going right back into Be Strong. She's trying to get supplies, get donations with everything that's happening in the world. And we're not really hearing a whole lot about the reality reckoning. But last time I heard from her or heard we heard from her about what she was doing. She was really putting this in the hands of Mark Garagos and Brian Friedman, who are the two attorneys who are spearheading this entire movement. Those two attorneys have been speaking with other former reality TV talent, some who might still be under contract and some who maybe they got fired or let go or they've been released, whatever the case is, whatever the circumstances are. But I believe that they are handling this now. They are collecting and gathering information from these reality TV stars and their stories, and they're building a portfolio, building a case in order to move forward. I don't know how much more she is going to... After seeing how many podcast episodes and how many TikToks she's done about this, saying, this is you know the last I'm going to say, I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. I don't know how many more times she can do that. But Luann Deliseps had something to say about Bethany Frankel's movement. So Luann Deliseps is reacting to Bethany's ongoing claims of exploitation against Bravo. And it was Reality Blurb who ended up sharing this with us. But during a couple of new interviews, she reacted to Bethany's suggestion that Bravo pushes alcohol on their talent and locks them into non-disclosure agreements that prevent them from speaking out. She was also reacting to the claims of Kyle Richards having a romance with Morgan Wade. She said, listen, who am I to judge when it came to Kyle Richards? I don't know. I was with Kyle on the first Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, so I know Kyle, and I love Kyle. That's what she told the Daily Mail. In recent months, though, if you haven't been keeping up with it, we've been keeping up with it. Kyle has been separated from her husband, Mauricio Umansky, and she has continued to spend time with Morgan, even allegedly getting cozy with her on a number of occasions. However, when asked about their marriage, Luann admitted she didn't know a thing. One of the things that we know that they're shooting a documentary. We heard that this documentary is going to go into November. I'm sure at BravoCon, she will have to address certain things on the press floor and also in some of these panels. They're going to ask her some of these hard questions about what's going on with Morgan Wade. She's probably going to be like, you guys, I am so sick of these questions. I'm so sick of answering them. But she is running out around without her ring on. And when TMZ caught up with her at the airport at LAX and said, do you think that there's any chance of a reconciliation between you and your husband? She said, that's a private matter, which led me and a lot of fans to speculate. And the only reason we're speculating, Kyle, is because you are a very, very famous reality TV star. So you've opened up the floodgates. You've opened up the doors for people to have an opinion or create a conversation around your relationship, your marriage, because they were always, these two, they were looked as, looked like as, I guess, one of the best marriages that we've seen on Bravo until apparently it wasn't going into season 13 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But I think running around, and she, it's her prerogative. She could do whatever she wants. But I think running around with Morgan, wearing the same clothes as Morgan, you know, going on road trips with Morgan, traveling across the country with Morgan, going over seas with Morgan, I think that it does further fuel the speculation. I feel like they both know what they're doing. Mauricio taking a photo with the woman, I believe her name is Leslie Vega, who was rumored to be dating his dad, but then his dad debunked that. And this was at this 
dinner after Dancing with the Stars Latin night that Kyle Richards wasn't there, but Leslie Vega was there cheering him on. I feel like they're very well-versed when it comes to publicity, and they know what the move is. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, getting back to it. Oh, I haven't heard because I haven't been out to LA, but nonetheless, that's their private matter, and I hope things work out. After confirming that a romance with a woman is not her thing, Luann, who is twice divorced, revealed that she is currently single. I'm happy on my own. I'm really busy right now, so I think 2024 is going to be my year to hook up with somebody that is going to be perfect for me. Dating has changed the landscape of dating with the pandemic and online dating and all of those things. I think people need to be more personable and be together more and just get out and mingle and flirt and not be afraid to go up to somebody and give them a compliment. Although Luann would like to find love eventually, she made it clear that she doesn't need a man. Good for you, Luann. You don't need him to be happy. You're happy on your own, but let's have fun together. You know, it's that kind of energy. Everybody has an energy field and you need to put out that energy. You need to manifest. You need to be manifesting like, this is what I want. And she's open to getting remarried. Never say never, she said. I'm a hopeless romantic. But as for her comments about Bethany, they were made during an October 8th interview with the Daily Mail. And this was the part that I wanted to get to because I knew these two have had literally one of the most tumultuous relationships on reality TV that I've ever seen. It's so many ups and downs. Like we see Giselle Bryant and Karen Huger ups and downs, but then they come back together and it's not that big of a deal. And then we also see, well, tax reform. I mean, that wasn't the nicest, but for her, it's like, Bethany tried to help get Luann into rehab. Luann asked Bethany for a loan, allegedly for a new home. You know, Luann also claims that she was the reason that Bethany had Skinny Girl. She was the one who helped start Skinny Girl by giving her the idea. She also told Luann at one point, why don't you put an easy pass on your Holland tongue? You guys know the rest of the line, right? So I wasn't shocked that Luann was going to take this moment. And she did. According to Luann, she understands Bethany's fight for a systematic change, but she has only had a good experience in her years on the show. I'm sure there's times where you go, oh, I wish I wasn't edited like that or whatever. But for me, it's been a positive experience. Now I know for some people it is not. And so I don't think what she's doing is wrong. I just think that by suing and all of that, you're going after the hand that fed you and that made you a star. Well, she did say multiple times, I'm not suing the network. As Roni fans well know, Bethany appeared to be on the first three seasons of the series and later returned for season seven through 11. I can imagine, like I said, there are some people that don't have a good experience. It's never been mine, so I can't speak to that. But I understood what she was trying to do. But I'm not, I'm not taking any sides. I mean, my livelihood has been with NBC, and I've only had good experiences and continue to do so. But speaking specifically about the claims of forced drinking, Luann denied ever enduring such a thing. I've actually had a situation on the show and I just removed myself. I'm like, I'm out. I don't feel comfortable. This is uncomfortable to me. And certainly, you know, I feel like people have to do what they feel they need to do. And, you know, nobody's ever forced me to drink. For me, on the occasion, I've said I'm going home or whatever. I just leave early or I choose not to go. So nobody forces you to do anything. It's really up to you. Nobody forces you to say something or causes you to not say anything. A lot of people will always blame it on editing and et cetera, but you know, they can't edit what you don't give them. Hmm. That makes sense. So she is kind of like, I'm not team anybody, but I get what Bethany's saying. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Go ahead, comment below. Let us know. We'll see you next time. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.